What is going on guys, it is Fortis here. Okay, so today we're talking about Yada in urban space. And what is Star Trek Fleet Command? Well, it's a 4X mobile strategy game for iOS and Android for Star Trek fans. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the point of this video is to kind of talk about Yada in urban space and what it is really all about. So we are here mining data in the data extraction event. And we're doing pretty well. We're kind of in one of the top tier ranks here. Um, but the point is that Yada has so many issues, um, it's, you know, it's not even funny. Um, the fact is that it has a bunch of, right, it has a bunch of nodes, but um, all of these nodes, um, essentially, because they take six to seven seconds to reset, um, you're sending all of that data to, to, to Scopely and the developers really quickly, so fast, in fact, that the server, I guess, doesn't have enough time to kind of refresh and send the data back. So essentially what happens is that you get stuck on these nodes. And this isn't really good. Um, how are we doing in Argument? Doing pretty well. Oh, almost up front. Cool. Um, so the point is that these nodes are not doing very well. And a lot of people are actually complaining about this. This is a huge discussion, um, I believe, with the developers. The fact that Yada is one of those systems that is really not really working. Um, you get the, the most points in Yada for data mining. But the fact is, is that all these nodes are breaking and it takes very um, precise details to kind of fix this, which I will be going over. But the fact is, the Yada is not good. Um, so here I am mining data and doing pretty well. I've got uh, Parco next to me. Um, so yeah, take a look at that node, like zero node. And I can attack. So there's two kinds of nodes here. There's nodes where there's nodes where you're on a zero. Um, there's not enough data, and there's another node where you can actually attack. You know, I, I use the phrase loosely attack the player um, to get back the node. You don't actually attack the player, and you don't lose any P shield st status. But that is the only way to get back the node, either by warping out of the system. To, to get back the node or to attack a, attack another node. So essentially, I mean, this is how we fix these things in Yada now. Um, but it's not actually even funny, like um, before, yes, before the, before the new update, yes, Yada had new nodes, um, had a few nodes, and it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too bad. Um, Yada wasn't too bad, but the fact is, is that, you know, Six to seven seconds to refresh means that you really have to watch your nodes all the time because it's so easy to uh, to go over cap. Um, the actual presence of yarders completely changed the game in terms of PvP because now anyone can be over cap um, in yarder and other systems like that. So it's not that great and. Um, I think people, especially the developers, have a lot to say about this, um, but they're currently looking at ways to kind of fix Yada um, because it desperately needs a fix because uh, this really isn't funny, um, especially during this data event. Um, it's not the worst thing that could happen. Like you can mine in other systems apart from Yada. Um, oh, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to do the Federation War or anything because I'm trying to go dual tri-faction. Um, but yeah, the point is, is that um, for this to happen during during the data arc isn't great. It isn't great, guys. And there's a lot of frustrated players out there, that's for sure. Um, so they're really trying to work, figure this thing out. But it's going to take some time to kind of figure all of this out. And I think, I don't know, I think my experience is slightly different on iOS than, of course, Android users. But... Um, I can't really test this out because I've got an Android system. But yeah, if you guys have an Android system, um, let me know if anything changes in Yada for you because it's definitely um, changing for me. Like using the iOS app um, definitely has its drawbacks. I feel like I have to close and open the app, uh, Star Trek Food Command, constantly. Um, and it's a pain in the, pain in the butt, to be honest. Um, oh God. Okay, losing signal again. So we're gonna have to attack this node. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, I basically lost lost signal there. Um, 
So as you can see, like the flashing little red symbol at the top there, not too great. Um, I don't even know why this is happening, but it is. Yeah, this must be the iOS app. Ah, oh, must be the iOS app. No way can this be happening on Android. No way. Um, but yes, Yada has a lot of issues and hopefully they're going to get fixed uh, pretty soon. Like, like I think they're figuring, they're zoning in on the issue, whether this thing gets fixed or not before the data arc ends. I don't know. I don't know if it will. Um, it's going to be really tough to kind of figure this one out. But uh, yeah, um, that is pretty much it for now, guys. Let me know um, what do you think of the data arc, whether you like it or not, what are your tips, tricks, do you go to other systems than Yada? Um, I would love to know. All right, guys, that is it for now. Don't forget, of course, to like and subscribe to more future videos. And I shall see you later. All right, guys, see ya.